Okay, ladies and gentlemen, left brain characteristics. Like to read, excel at math, very logical, organized, verbal, analytical, analytical. Uh, likes verbal instruction, don't enjoy clowning around. Thinks better sitting down. Usually remembers things. Likes true stories. Good at word skills, you know, decoding words or spelling. This is left. of a right brain dominant person, creative, art, singing, reads fantasy like Cinderella, poetry, movement, here we go, big time movement, sports, dance, I know you write as fast as you can, you can prefer visual, visual instruction with examples, very visual can memorize music. Can also can. Can. Can memorize music. That's why I call it a song. <laughs> when, when you say memorize music, do you mean the tune, the musical notes, or the words? Overall? Probably all of it. <laughs> Learn the words. I met children who can't read, but they know how to read the music for a song. Look at the words, and then they start decoding. Because the melody comes in and it just, just gets that brain because they're right brain. Become restless during long verbal explanation. You know, if a teacher is left brain up here and, and talking, which I've had those professors at school, I'm telling you, I'm ready to fall asleep. Because they're up there talking and talking off their notes. I say, oh my gosh. And they start losing the right brain person real fast. Very spontaneous and unpredictable. <laughs> Can be a dreamer. <laughs> hands on. Have to have the hands on stuff. Poor spelling. Can't sit, <laughs> can't sit still for very long. And um, more responsive to informal setting. Yes. Could you explain a little more about how you do visual instruction with examples? What do you mean? Uh, for example, if I'm doing a lesson on Indians and we talk about the homes, the different home shelters, instead of just standing up here, okay, they have the grass shelter, I will go and draw a house with a straw. And I have them draw it with me. They love that. You don't have to teach this, le this lesson five, ten times. Teach it once. Because they're drawing, da -da 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 -da. here's the house, get the crowns out, do the straw, and write the name of it. There it is. Now most people use both sides of the brain. I mean, you got all off sides over here. But you prefer a certain side. Now I always use myself as an example. I like both sides. I fit both sides pretty well but I lean more toward the right brain. That's why you have to be well-rounded. You have to get activities that fit both sides of the brain. 